Hey there, it's Jerry with the Electric Valentines. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I didn't know this because I'm a relatively newcomer when it comes to Open Pilot and the Comma 3X, just having installed it in the Rivian about six months ago. But Open Pilot's been on the 0.9 series for almost three years now. And it's just been in the past couple of months that they've been developing and testing 0.10.0. And as of a couple days ago, it's now released to the public. Now, 0.10.0 actually includes some cool new features, including a new driving model, or I should say actually a new driving planner, uh, some new updated car support, some new feedback tools for the community, and some better traffic handling as well. We're going to break it down and see if 0.10.0 is an incremental update over 0.9.9, or if this is the beginning of a new chapter for OpenPilot. So let's talk about what's probably the biggest change in this release, and that's the way that OpenPilot itself thinks about driving. Now I kind of touched upon this in one of my previous videos where I talk about OpenPilot driving models and what makes them so cool. And basically this new release includes a completely new end-to-end -end driving model or driving model planner called the World Model Planner. In previous versions, OpenPilot would determine where a human might steer, but then send that to a different system to actually figure out how to do it and send those commands to the car. Unfortunately, that middle step requires a lot of fine tuning. With these new driving models, OpenPilot predicts a path directly from your car's current position. Now that results in smoother lane centering, uh, more natural driving, and it provides a foundation for future development. Now these enhancements all come from research that Comma AI recently presented at CVPR, and I'm going to include a link to that paper down in the description below if you want to look at it yourself. It's really interesting stuff. Now in addition to the enhancements to the brains of OpenPilot, in 0.10.0 we've also got improvements to the performance in stop-and-go traffic. Now this is accomplished by reducing the amount of ignored frames and low speed training data by about 25%. Those additional frames make OpenPilot much better at recognizing stopped traffic ahead of you. Now this is still accomplished using the traditional lead car policy, but it's a lot more reliable than before. However, in the future, this will be replaced with the end-to-end -end policy from experimental mode. In addition, in this release, OpenPilot's also got a training pipeline upgrade to improve efficiency OpenPilot 0.10 introduces VAE compression, which uses a custom encoder-decoder neural network to provide a very compressed representation of the driving scene. Now, Kama has validated that the amount of detail lost in this process is pretty negligible, and it doesn't really degrade the quality of the policy. So this means we're getting a lot more efficient training without sacrificing performance. And here's another feature that I mentioned in the 0.9.9 update. 0.9.9 update introduced something called live learning lateral delay, although it was introduced in shadow mode, which meant it wasn't really working. It was working in the background collecting data, but wasn't actually implemented. Now, as of the release of 0.10, live learning lateral delay is actually functioning, and those live values are being applied in real time, which means you're going to experience sharper turning across a variety of models of vehicle. Now, as always, OpenPilot is powered by the community, and Comma AI has made providing feedback on your driving experience easier than ever. Comma has introduced easy-to-use tools on their Discord that lets users generate detailed feedback using their Comma Connect routes and logs. The new Discord bot can generate a full report with video, and the new clipping tool makes it easy to generate short video clips to highlight areas of your drive. And those of you who have been watching my videos in the past probably know I use those clips in my videos, as you can see here, showing off the pathing of OpenPilot as I do my drives. It's very useful and uh, fun to play around with. Another feature of 0.10 that people have been asking for is the ability to record audio with the video. This is an optional toggle that you can select within OpenPilot that records audio along with the video in your route and logs on Comma Connect. The audio plays along with the video in Connect. You can export that video along with the audio through Connect and just gives you kind of a more dash cam-like experience with the Comma 3X. On the car side, there have been improvements for both drivers and developers working on carports. 
The CAN parser was completely rewritten in Python, reducing hundreds of lines of code and making the process for porting new cars much simpler. OpenPilot's improvements are fueled by data, and in this release, there are some improvements on that front as well. Comma has released Comma Car Segments V2, which is an updated data set of raw CAN bus data from drivers across the world driving over 300 makes and models of car that Comma currently supports. This release adds data from all the latest ports and includes something like 230 different platforms, uh, 188,000 different uh, segments, uh, and over 3,100 hours of driving. All this data is available now on Hugging Face for researchers and developers, so take a look. I'll include the link down in the description below. There's also some new bug fixes for Hyundai and Toyota vehicles, as well as support for 2023 to 2025 uh, Hondas and Acuras. Uh, I've listed those models in the description below. Uh, so that's about it for the 0 0.10 update for OpenPilot. What do you guys think? Is this uh, just kind of an incremental update over 0.9.9? .9, or is this like a new chapter for OpenPilot and could lead to some interesting developments in end-to-end -end driving models down the road? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm curious to know if you guys are using 0.10.0 now. Um, if you guys are looking forward to what Kama has got in store for the future, including external GPU support and support for large driving models in the future. As always, I truly appreciate your support for the channel. Thanks for watching and enjoy the drive.